Hello, and welcome to the VMware ARIA Automation Video Series, Your Journey to Success, Enforcing Compliance and Vulnerability Policies. In this demo, the VMware ARIA Automation Config Administrator will create policies to scan and remediate CIS, DISA, compliance violations, and CVE vulnerabilities. This allows the administrator to apply corporate compliance standards and ensure that security policies are enforced. Additionally, the administrator can save resources, strengthen overall security, and reduce risk by enabling automated continuous compliance enforcement. So let's begin by logging in with our root account. Let's go ahead and expand the compliance section and click policies. Here in the policies workspace, you can see the overall summary, the compliance against the various policies, and our minion compliance. Here I've created an Ubuntu and Windows policy already and set them to run on an hourly schedule. Here you can see the mix of minions that are compliant versus non-compliant. And so VMware ARIA Automation Config for Secure Host Compliance is an IT infrastructure security and compliance solution that combines compliance security with IT operations in a single platform. To use ARIA Automation Config for Secure Hosts, you first define a compliance policy, then scan systems against the policy the scan detects non-compliant systems and allows you to remediate issues instantly. Additionally, you can enter exemptions and specify user permissions to ensure all paths to remediation are customized for your organization's needs. So let's go ahead and take a look at the creating a policy. Here, we'll enter our policy name Linux and select our Linux target group. Here you can see the various CIS benchmarks. There are well over a hundred different benchmarks for all of the various operating systems, CentOS, Debian, pretty much everything that you're so, since we're mostly running Ubuntu, let's go ahead and select and filter on Ubuntu. Great. Now let's go ahead and select the CIS Ubuntu 1804 benchmark, since that's mostly what our organization is running. All right, here are all the various checks that can be applied from the benchmark. So for us, let's go ahead and filter on the password checks. Let's click a few of these and ensure that these various password policies are enforced. So for the lockout, we can configure these values. For this demo, we'll go ahead and accept these defaults. And now you can set a schedule if you'd like it to reoccur. I generally set it for every hour. And you can also set the variation as well here, noted as display, in seconds. So you can vary the uh, uh, triggering if you have a large uh, amount of minions you're targeting. And go ahead and save. Now we can run our assessment. So click Run Assessment. And our assessment has started. To view, we can click the Activity tab here. And we can see that it's running against our seven uh, Ubuntu minions in that target group. To take a look at our minions, we can click this Minion tab. And as they're scanned, they'll report they're compliant or not compliant. Additionally, if we want to make any exemptions, we'll see that in the Exemption tag. So let's go ahead and exempt the Fritz demo machines here. Click those and Exemption. We'll just note these are for the Fritz demo. Now we can see 
the Fritz demo machines are exempt from these policies. We can review the report of our minions on what's compliant versus not compliant. Here we can see from our scan seven compliant states and 17 uncompliant. So let's go ahead and return to the minions. And let's go ahead and remediate these minions. Click remediate. And again, we can click into the activity tab and see our remediation job is queued. If you're curious about the benchmarks, we can review the benchmark catalog here. If we want to see what was in the Ubuntu benchmark, we just apply it to our machine. We can again use the filter here, filter on it. Go ahead and uh, the, we are using the 1804 benchmark. Clicking into this, you can see all the various checks that are part of that catalog. And if you click the little arrow, you can see what the check is, uh, what operating systems it applies to, the remediation, if there's any remediate file that's used to perform the check. Moving on, we can review vulnerability. VMware ARIA Automation Config for Secure Host Vulnerability is a vulnerability remediation solution that allows security and IT teams to work together to assess the vulnerability status of your systems against the latest security advisories, including those that reference the common vulnerabilities and exposures, CVE. ARIA Automation Config for Secure Host Vulnerability also supports importing scans from third-party vendors and remediating those advisories on impacted assets if remediation is available. This includes imported scans from Tenable, Rapid7, Qualys, Kenna Security, with a built-in API connector for importing from Tenable I.O. Following a scan, you can access a downloadable list of all detected vulnerabilities and their corresponding advisory name, severity, vulnerability score, and affected asset. As an ARIA config add-on, ARIA automation config for secure host vulnerability goes beyond assessment. It takes advantage of SALT to actively remediate vulnerabilities while giving you complete control over when and what to remediate. So let's take a look at creating a vulnerability policy. Click Create Policy. Again, I'll target my Linux group here. And set a reoccurring schedule for every one hour. And similar to the compliance workspace, you can run an assessment, review the assessment running an activity tab. Review the minions once they return, and of course, add any exemptions that we'd like. And once it's scanned, we can download the report as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the boot 2 minions, since I've already scanned them. And you can see the last remediation that was done here, and below, we can see the severity advisory and the CVE and the CVE score. So let's go ahead and click to the minions tab. And again, let's add exemptions for the Fritz demo machines since we don't want to mess up Fritz's demo. Let's go ahead and remediate these four other machines. Again, we can see in the activity tab, the rem remediation is uh, queued. Those minions will be remediated. Next, let's take a look at the settings and connectors. Here you can connect to Tenable I.O. It's that API connector I mentioned earlier. Additionally, we 
support connecting to VMware Carbon Black for vulnerability policies. Additionally, under Administration and Secure Host, you can see the last time the compliance content and vulnerability content was downloaded. If you'd like, you can check for updates manually, but these will be checked every day. This concludes my demonstration. Thank you for your time.